Hello everyone and welcome to iSharePoint All. This video is a continuation of our last video. We have we are our goal is to create a dashboard. So so far we've created a toolbar which you see up here. We've added a navigation drawer which when you click on this navigation icon here, app icon, you have this drawer that pops off from the left. So now we want our page. Let me go back and look for it. Give me a second here. And so what I'm going to be showing you next is we want our page to have the layout that um, our dashboard has. So what I'm going to introduce you today is I'm going to introduce you to, to the grid system. So the layout that we're looking for once this comes up so here's the layout we're looking for we have in our dashboard we have two rows basically this is one row with two columns and then this bottom row and what's creating this layout for us is what you call in in Viewdefy the grid system so we are in this video we're going to be adding the two columns in a row here um, before we do that, though, let, let's make a quick um, correction to our code from the last video. Um, because when we go ahead and when we add our content in here, it's not going to display properly. And it's because of the way that our application has been set up, even though it works fine. So here's what, let me first show you this. So if you go to Viewify and you click on uh, look for application, it kind of shows you like a, a layout of how things should be. So you have your V app inside of your V app, you have a navigation drawer, you have your V app bar, then you have your V content, sort of like in this layout. And if you want to, if you want to check out pre-made layouts, if you click on this pre-made layout here, it'll show you, it'll take you to a page like this and it'll, it'll give you different uh, layouts. So you have the dark layout, Google, YouTube layout, um, and it also has the code. So let's look at the Google YouTube layout. So this is the Google to YouTube layout. If you're looking for that kind of pre-made layout, you can click on the uh, code pen or just open this source up in a different tab and it shows you how it was done. So I just wanted to show that to you. So what we're going to do in following this layout, we need to let me click back we need to make sure we use this v app bar in the previous video that we showed i had used um the v toolbar so what we're going to do and i'm going to i'm going to add this code to the gist what we're going to do is we're going to replace our v toolbar with v dash app bar kind of like we have here and then we're going to add in this v dash app bar we're going to have this clipped left this is one of our props and in our navigation v navigation drawer we're going to have this clipped and don't forget this v navigation drawer needs to be a child of the v app and what the clip does is it once you remove that um uh v toolbar the clip just allows it to appear under like it does here even though it did that before um so that's what that's what it does and let's it clip to the left and if you want to do a clip right i believe if you do a, a clipped right it will come on this end i think let's try it real quick so if i said click so if i did clip right i'm not sure if this is going to work but let's give it a try let me refresh okay it did something else so it didn't go under it just made it appear here which is weird I thought it would uh, pop up here but anyway that's how you play with stuff and find out so that's what I'm doing so let me put it back to the clip left because the clip left I want it to appear underneath my toolbar I think that's better in my opinion so that's the effect I'm looking for now that I've gotten that out, out of the way, let's go to what the, um, what the, I guess, training or what we're going to be going over today, which is the grid system. So let's go to grid system here. 
Now, if you're familiar with Bootstrap, the grid system in, in Vudify has this 12-point grid system. Uh, it's built in, and I think that's how Bootstrap is. And if you use these different breakpoints that targets a certain screen, you can target, you know, whether it's a a mobile phone or, or a lab tablet to a laptop or or bigger screens and these are the ranges and these are the types and this is the code that you use to do that uh, so let's go into code pen we have this layout here and as you can see COLS small so this is going to target this is going to target small, small to medium tablet. So you can make it as big as you want or, or whatever. So that's just how that works. Now for our grid system, what we're looking at here, and this is pretty, pretty simple. So this is going to be a very short video. Our grid system, basically we have in three columns here. And I'm going to remove, I'm going to remove this four loop here because it's looping through three times and creating the three columns that you see. Now in our layout we have we had two charts charts at the top. Oh, let me see if I can find it again. I have too many windows. So we have two charts, so it's two columns and then a big row at the bottom. I have too many windows open here. Okay, so so the way you do it is you have V row and inside of your row, you will specify with this V column tag how many columns you want. So I need two columns. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this column here. Copy. Paste. And there's my second column going to pop up. So there's my second column. Now the reason you use the card is because the card is sort of it gives you a little outline so you can still do it without the card for whatever reason if you want and as you can see when you do that there is no format no line in. it just puts the grid there so I like to use the put it on top of a V card in a V card tag you have this class equal to PA so this controls like the pattern um, vertically I believe so if I do nine you see how that is it just stretches vertically so put it back to two and let me see if i can find that uh where is that at da, 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 da. okay i can't find it there is a hmm, i can't find it okay uh, I was looking for the page that it, it it specifies what exactly. Oops. Okay, I need to close some of these windows. It'll let you know the different kinds of classes that you can use here. You can use stuff for margin, margin top. Um, but if you Google it, Vudify, and just put in this, you it sh you should be able to find it. So this is a tile system. So you can also, if you wanted to have gutters. You can also, if you just remove this gutter for the rows, no gutters, it does that. If you want to, you can add a prop dense and it makes it smaller. So you can do that. You can also control the colors of your cards. So if I had something, let's say class equal to you know uh, indigo uh, let's say darker five I think I'm doing something wrong let's go to my material design so here are all the different colors you can have here so you can either say look okay, at class Okay, class red text. Okay, so let's come back here. Well, I don't want to class red text. Oh, 
What happens if I do this? I think I'm having it in the wrong. Let's put it here. Oh, it just wasn't. Okay, so it was just too light. You couldn't see it. So if I do this, it should work. Or not. There you go. Okay, I was just using the wrong attribute here. You can also have another prop you can have is if I said raised, it, it also raises it. It's not flat, but raises it. So let's go ahead and create my other row here. So I'm just going to grab this, copy, paste. So there's my other row. Uh, let me remove the, let me remove one of the columns because I only need one column. Remove the column. So there you have it. And I don't want it raised, nor do I need the gray. Even though it does look cool raised. Remove the gray color. Okay. Okay. So there is. So this is basically what we have for our dashboard. We had a, a chart here, a chart here, and then our table here. So now let's just go to SharePoint. So I already have this in here. I just copy paste, just commented it out so I can be a little quicker. So if I take that out take that out and when you copy this you see it just has V container you want to make sure that you wrap that V container in a V content because when you're dealing with these navigation with the with these applications you got to have a V content and it explains that here uh, where is it so you see how you have a, a, a V content So you make sure you wrap your see you have a container. So you have to wrap your container inside of this V content. So let's save. Save. And let's go to SharePoint. Refresh. And there you have it. So if I do this, see there you go. And if I come back here and let's say If I want it is raised. I don't like that dark gray background. So I'm gonna make it a little lighter. So I'm gonna put a raised here in each of my cards. Raised. Give it a space. raised save let's see what that looks like and there you have it um i don't have it okay it didn't raise here for some reason but that's how you do it oh i put it in the wrong location raised raised Okay. I, I gotta get this right, sorry. So let me go back. All right, you can put a space. Saved. Okay. So here is our little dashboard that we're coming to inside of SharePoint. Our toolbar works, our navigation works. You have these buttons here. Um, so in our in our next couple of videos, I'm going to show you how to you're going to add these as components in here. You're going to add your charts. Uh, you're going to add your table. 
So I want to show you how to how to do that and using components. We've we've already gone over components in a previous video, but this is more practical, um, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're almost we're almost there. We're almost there. We're going to have it look like this. I don't have it raised here, but we're almost there. Thank you for watching, and I hope this is making sense. If not, please ask questions at the bottom. Um, at the bottom, I'm also going to provide the code to. The, I'm going to update the last code we had in our last gist. I'm just going to update that with this new code um, so you can see what I've done. All right, thanks. And actually, you know, I, I may just create a new gist for this particular video. All right, thanks. And I hope you enjoyed that. Bye.